Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah Super and I make a whole bunch of vlogs and other lifestyle kinds of videos. Mm -hmm. In today's video though, I want to talk to you guys about Instagram. I know I love Instagram as much as the next person does. And you know, Instagram stories, I remember when they first came out, nobody really liked them, but now everybody uses them. So, um, yeah, I just want to share some tips with you guys because there's definitely a lot of ways you can customize them. I know a lot of people have the Unfold app, myself included, and I love it, don't get me wrong. It's a great app, has a whole bunch of cool templates and stuff, but it's also $20. So I know a lot of people can't justify spending that on an app, so I want to show you guys who don't want to send the money on Unfold um, how you can make really, really cute Instagram stories on the same level as Unfold stories, but for free. Because I know y'all have seen when it's some girl's birthday, 80 people will be posting on her story, and it's just this whole thing. So... That way, when it's your friend's birthday, you can post her story that's really cute and unique and not like everybody else's. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. But before we do that, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram because I'm going to help y'all out with this video. And y'all can help me all the follow back. So, yep. System. What is that? Equal opportunity or something? Probably not. I don't know. So, first I want to show you guys just some really easy, simple Instagram things that you can do, like within the Instagram app. So, let's just go to our story really quick and let's just... Add a picture of something easy like, oops, like let's do Insta. I made this folder just for this video, lol. Um, let's do coffee. Who doesn't like coffee? Um, and then you can move the picture if you put your fingers on it like this. Um, I'm gonna just off center a little bit just so I can um, do that. There's of course the different filters. Um, we'll do this one, I like this one. Um, so one thing you can do is with the drawing tool, if you go to like the big marker, you can pick a color. Let's do pink, obviously. You know how I feel about pink. And then if you just hold the screen down and turn the whole picture pink, if you erase it away, then you can kind of like make a little design out of it and then put text around it, I think is cute. And you can do the same thing with like the highlighter, just hold it down. And it gives a cute little like, oops, the wrong thing. It gives a cute little, you know, effect to your picture. And then if you use like the um, other wand, like the glow wand, I love this one. It's so cute. You can do that with it too. Um, you can also import pictures from your camera roll. So I have this background right here. I'll just copy it. And when you go back to Instagram after that, it'll either say add sticker or you can go in your text and paste it. So that way you have like two if you wanted. So yeah, you can either do this to make like cute like little borders for your story. Like if you wanted to do like a cheetah border kind of moment, um, you can like make like a little like kind of text box with it. So like if I lined it up like this and then made like one cohesive strip, you could do like text up here. You could do like a poll like Starbucks or Dunkin' put it right there or like a little like text saying like swipe up. Yeah, like you like a swipe up text or something right there. It's just really cute. It's just a really easy way to customize it, but I'm gonna show you guys some more apps you can use to make it even more special. Also y'all, I finally found a way to wear these cute little hair clips in my hair. Y'all know I got pretty thick hair and it's hard for me to wear cute hair stuff like that, but I finally found a way I think to do it. So I'm obsessed with it, super cute. Anyways, so I'm gonna put my phone on the screen. Three, two, one, boop, here she is. So I made a little folder in my um, camera library just on stuff I wanted to show you guys in this video. So Insta. So I have some pictures here that I'll just use as an example when I'm making these. Um, I took some selfies earlier that I'm going to use too. Um, the first app you're going to want to go to onto is Pinterest. And on Pinterest, I have a folder. It's called um, Gram. Um, it's just kind of inspiration. So what I do is I look up like Instagram sticker searches. And people will type in like certain keywords when you want to do a sticker, you type in like in the top bar, like summer forever or self love and a whole bunch of different cute stickers will pop up like aesthetic -y type stickers, but I'll show you guys that later. But on this board, I have a whole bunch of templates. So there's a whole bunch of um, like, so it unfold the way it works is it's like a template app. So it has a whole bunch of like film templates, Polaroid templates, all this different stuff. Um, but you can find really good ones on Pinterest for free. So you don't have to pay $20 for the app. So you can, why did my light change color? I'm confused, anyways. Yeah, but they have butterfly backgrounds, really cute backgrounds people have made. Um, let's see which one I wanna do. Let's do, I think I saved the cheetah print one earlier, so we're gonna use the cheetah print one. But to save um, one, oh, the Krusty Krab, that's cool. Um, so to download an image, you click the three dots at the bottom and then you click download image and then it saves it to your 
um, library. So I'm gonna actually use the cheetah print one I downloaded earlier. Where did I put it? Did I delete it? Oh yeah, it's right here. So now we're gonna go into Instagram and, oh, I was on my pen, still awkward. So now we're gonna go into Instagram and we're going to go to your story and you're going to import the clip. I mean the um, background you wanna use. So I have my cheetah print background. Now I'm gonna go to my camera roll again and I'm going to copy the pictures that I wanted to put in my Instagram story. So um, you're gonna copy the picture, go on Instagram, and it'll, it'll either pop up add sticker at the bottom or it'll show up, um, let's just do this one. Or you can even do it like add text and then paste it in like that way. So it really depends on which way you wanna do it. And then you're just gonna organize the pictures however you want. Um, if you wanted to edit the pictures individually, you would have had to have do that before you put it into the story. Um, so let's see, you can do that in this way. Um, you can pretty much do whatever you want. I think I'm gonna, this one on top, and this one on the bottom, it's like this. I might actually flip that over too, just to like spice it up a little bit. And then you're gonna move it to where you want it. And then you're gonna save it. If you wanted to put anything behind them, like actually yeah, I'll do like a little, uh, let's do a little pink. You can either like draw on the side of it or you can do like the drawing behind it. I like that, so I'm gonna do that. Like that's cute. And I'll do a white one too, just to kinda, you know, or I'll do the glow one. Really just play around with it, honestly. Yeah, that's cute. So I'm gonna click done. And then I'm gonna save that. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Pixar. Pixar is literally, if you do not have Pixar, even if you don't do anything with social media or anything like that, you need it because there's so much possibilities you can do editing wise on Pixar, it's ridiculous. So you're gonna go to Pixar and then you're gonna click the story you're working on. And there are so many different options. My favorite tool is the brush tool. So they have the glitter. So if you ever wonder how people got glitter on their photos, so they have a pink one, which y'all know I love pink. Um, you just draw it on like this. They have gold, they have silver, they have all these different ones. I do a lot of the gold ones on my thumbnails. I think the gold one looks good with my outfit and this one and everything. And like obviously I'm not doing it perfect because I'm not going to post these, but I'm just showing you guys like what I would do. You can do like all these different kinds. It's super cute. So the glitter one is like my number one. Like I use that all the time. Um, I also like to do the sticker cap uh, part. So they have so many good stickers, guys. Literally insane. You can search anything. Like you can search like um, 70s aesthetic. You can do all this stuff and have all this cute stuff. Guys, it is so amazing. And this app is free. Um, the ones with the crowns on them, you do have to pay for those. But you can like put them in your picture um, if you want. Wait, am I, am I screen recording? Okay, yeah, I am. Okay, just making sure. I was like, wait, is this not recording? So yeah, I'm not gonna do this one actually. Let me go back. Discord changes. Yeah, so let's look up stickers. What stickers would I put in here? Um, I'll just do aesthetic, see what pops up. So yeah, like you can do so many cute things. You can do like the Pantone outline. I love, like you can do that. That's also another way you can do like polar pictures if you place, if you search like, uh, I'll show you. If you searched Polaroid sticker, like Polaroid frame, you can do that and just um, kind of stick it over your picture like that. It'd be super cute. I already did the glitter outline, so I kind of just ruined that example. Like you can do it like that. There's so many different things you guys can do with this app. I literally, I make some of my thumbnails with this app. I edit my pictures with this app. It's really amazing. Let's see, Visco. Like you have to just type in everything like Visco aesthetic sometimes, aesthetic. Uh, I know it sounds really cringy, but you just gotta type in a lot and see what comes up. I think I spelled aesthetic wrong. I definitely did. Like you can do little butterflies. Now this personally has a lot going on, but like, for example, if I wanted to add something to the background of this picture, I could um, like add them to this and then you can duplicate them. So I can make the whole background. I am gonna erase it really quick. I erase some of the butterflies so they don't block my face because I'm a narcissist, you know, the whole whole ordeal you can change the size um so that's good for that one um and then you can like even draw on these two i only like drawing with my ipad though on my phone it's kind of hard to draw on them 
Um, you can add like all these cute things, guys. Like I so, I cannot recommend this app to you enough. Like if I wanted to make a glitter shirt for myself, like I could um, like, yeah, I could, so I'm gonna make it bigger. I'm gonna cover my shirt and then I'm gonna erase every part of it that's not my shirt. So like here, and I'll just have to forget out my necklace because it's not gonna make it on there. But like you can do all this cute stuff with Pixar, guys. You can draw some of it back too if you actually wanna take too much. All right, and then you click the check button and then turn the opacity back on, look at it. I mean, of course it doesn't look the best, but I'm not really trying. And then you can change the opacity and then apply and then you have a glitter shirt like all this stuff is super cute and i think that's enough for pixar but yeah there's so much you can do on it i totally recommend downloading it and just playing around with it guys because it's amazing so then you save this to your camera roll download photo and you have to be careful there's a lot of ads but you have to be careful you don't click the wrong thing and then you go back to instagram um exit this out and you also need to be careful though because sometimes if you leave stuff open on your instagram like it'll post it to your story so let me make sure there's nothing on my story Okay, all 1975. I love them so much, guys. Literally my favorites. But yeah, so here's the new photo we have made. And then, um, as I was saying earlier, so on the Pinterest board, I have things where if you search it um, on the sticker thing, you can um, find new stickers. So you can do cheetah. Let's see what comes up for cheetah. Because I do have a cheetah print, but I don't like any of these. See, all these backgrounds are just so cute. Like, they're adorable. And then I also have like Instagram story ideas. So if you guys want to follow me on Pinterest, I'll have my Pinterest account linked below because you guys can totally see this board and totally take ideas from it too. Like y'all sharing is caring. I don't care. But yeah, let's see. Um, if you search Kate fully daily, you'll get like cute gold stickers. Let's search that. Kate. What is it again? Fully daily. Let's see if it works. Yeah, so all these cute little gold stickers. Like, good morning. I'm sure, if it was like the middle of the day. Good morning or something. I don't know. Just something random. This one has a lot going on. I personally wouldn't make one with this much going on. But, like, I'm just showing you the capabilities of Pixar and everything like that. But, yeah. You can add stickers to it. I love adding sparkles to my stuff. So, I'll show you. Sparkles. Like, these ones. I like these ones because they're, like, minimal. Like, if you had, like, cute... Like, I'll put these by the butterflies. It's just, like, cute. And let's do something else. Um, I'm not going to put any music in there because I don't want to get copyright on this video, but stars is another cute one. Yeah, there's a lot of cute stickers. You just basically have to just, like, experiment and play around with stuff. Um, there's a lot of cute stuff on Pinterest, guys. Like, that's, like, the major key is Pinterest because there's so much stuff on there, like so much. And it's all like Lydia on the road. Let's try this one. Lydia on the road. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Like they're just adorable. See, that's a mood. But yeah, you can just do so much with Pixar and all this stuff. Um, so yeah, and then all you have to do is add music and click send a story. So I think I covered a lot in this video. Hopefully that you guys found helpful. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also comment on your Instagrams below because I want to stalk some of you. Um, I love Instagram. It's a lot of fun, you know, and anybody who takes this video too seriously and is like, why do you spend so much time like on Instagram? Like, shut up. Like, who asked you? You know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. But like, you know, I just think it's fun. I like, I'm a very visual person. So like stuff like this is really fun for me because I can like be artistic and creative. And if you, um, guys look at my feed, you actually see, I do a lot of like editing stuff. Like I have like butterflies on this picture and I have like sparkles. Um, I have stars on this one. Like totally follow my Instagram if you want. I have this picture where I did like Pixar stuff. Like, you can see like when I first started using Pixar and then how like I kind of bettered my skills using it on there hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you guys learned something new from it if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe to join the family my channel is growing a lot recently and i am so thankful so thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch me and yeah i hope you guys have a good rest of your day stay safe stay home i know everything in the world's crazy right now but try to occupy yourself with different things and yeah i will see you guys next time bye